so it's just it's just gonna be like that okay yeah right I just need to grab my stool so I can do your shoelace up If I don't have my stool when I bend down, I'll fall down. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> That's not too tight, is it? No, it's wonderful. There you go. Okay, okay. Right, I just need to tidy the unit up and then I'll be back to bring you over, okay? Okay, yeah, no problem. That's not, it's all our bodies give up it's eventually, don't they? Yeah, you wear them out. I know. Can I leave that one with you? You certainly can. There you go. So what did you used to do then for a sportsman? I was a professional racing cyclist. Was you really? Yeah. Wow. Probably as the road got harder every year. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
the seats get harder. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> There you go. Let's take this thing to the tactics show. You've got to roll them in your wall. Yeah, as soon as Right, are you comfortable there? Do you want to adjust oh, yourself at all? No, I'm fine. fine. You're fine, okay. The thing is, had his first exam today. Yeah, then he has two more out of three. Business okay? Yeah, he's. It's starting to pick up again, which is really nice. Yeah. So how long was your cyclist for? All my life. All your life? Yeah. I last raced in Mallorca. Oh wow. At uh, the age of 56. 53? 56. 56? Oh yeah. wow. I've had to sell my bike because I can't, I haven't got the strength in my legs anymore to actually pedal. I know the feeling well. <laughs> so what have you got planned for the rest of this week then? Well, I've got to uh, go to meet some friends. Yeah. And then I'll just put myself in front of the TV. Is it Tour de France on at the moment? No, but it will be. Uh, it's always Bastille Day is always that time. Okay. So it must be about the, the 20th of June. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Round about. Isn't that Veterans Day as well? Sorry? Isn't that Veterans Day? I don't know. Well, Armed Forces Day, sorry. Was that just the last Saturday in June? I can't remember. No, I can't. Seventy-eight. 
So did you use to cycle for a living then? Yeah. Yeah. How many races did you do a year? I used to race every week during the season. Did you? Yeah. So you've been coming here all these years and I never knew that you were a cyclist. No, uh, things change. <laughs> they do. Always proves that there's always someone worse off than what you are, isn't it? Always. I've got no complaints, really. Life's been good to me. Physically, that is. Yeah. 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 Do you have many people to talk to during the week? Not really, no. No? No. I try and come down the old crab at once, twice a week. Yeah? You know you can always come in here and just have a coffee with us and have a chat. Well, that's very kind of you. Yeah? Thank you. You just come up here and have a coffee. I'm sure Stephanie and Lydia will make you a coffee as well. And just have a chat with us. That was good. Had a holiday, do you? Yeah. Um, no, I'm not having a holiday this year. We're going away for weekends. Oh yes. So um, my nephew is getting married on the fifth of April. No, August. He's getting married on the fifth of August, and um, we're going to Newcastle to be there for when he gets married to his beautiful bride. I've only been to Newcastle once. Have you? Yeah, it was quite fresh. We go up there like two, three times a year. Yeah. Uh, my mother in law used to live there. She lived in Viper. Um, okay. So sadly, she died in 2021. Um, my sister in law still lives up there, she lives in Viper. Uh, my niece lives in uh, Eaton. Harrison is my nephew, my great nephew, he lives in Wolfend. Right. Um, and his, uh, one of his brothers is in the army, he's still doing his trade training now. Um, he's trained to go into, well, he's in Rumi, so, um... What, Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineer? That's it. I'm super proud. He went in for the army when he was 16. He's, um, he's not 18 until February. I'm super proud of him. I'm super proud of all of them. All of my nieces and nephews. Life is hard. Oh yes. And Harrison is just finishing uni. Um, he's going to be, um, I think he's going to be an electrical engineer. All right. Um, And his fiance um, trained to be a teacher. 
A teacher. A teacher, yeah. She's uh, like, I think she was early years teacher. I'm the age of six, I think. The what? The age of six, I think. All right. Um, yeah, she graduated two years ago, I believe. Try swimming is a very difficult job. Yes, very, very difficult. It's a thankless job teaching. That's the way I look at it. I used to teach at the College of Art in Liverpool. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I taught at Peterborough and you sound the same people that you say. Sorry. I taught at Peterborough well, College for a yeah. while. Yeah. Um, while I was trying to get to, my um, qualifications uh, in. So the city, so I'm like, a, a, an assessor and, yeah. um, and um, I'm these guys because what is it working? So I'm a further uh, education assessor and I'm in sign off. So I can sign your paperwork, so I can teach and actually sign people off of their assessment. <laughs> oh yeah. One more space. Yeah. And it was, it was a very good house sign. It was like £35 cheaper weekly just to go there. Oh, that's nice. Well, I'll buy you a trip. You and I left the college of art. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I still have it. 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 I still have before COVID hit, we were, we're in the process of setting up a um, training academy. Um, that would be my ultimate goal, is to have this place and a training academy. Yeah. And I want to train to be a um, trichologist as well. A what? A trichologist. It is to deal with the hair of the body. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you've got a trichologist that deals with hair. And then you've got and a dermatologist that deals with the skin. Which is interesting. So that's I what I want to train at. But I want you to get the training well, academy like up and running first. Like the and then I think um, kind of broke the dishwasher. And do that. What he did? No, I did. And then go on to do yeah. um, My best trichology. friend was my manager. And he, he didn't manage me very well. Yeah, it's, it was really work, interesting work. Of the and I've learned and another the word today. Trichologist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, let's show you beforehand where it goes. Mm -hmm. It's because of how many engravings on the plate and it's different for a plate. Ah, uh, okay. That was very bad. I just did what it cost. The only thing with so being uh, training to be a trichologist. Um, you can't get a student loan for it, you have to fund it yourself. Oh dear. So that's why I was going to try and get everything sorted out first. Yeah. And then do it. See if there's any like bar jobs that will have something in the bar. Yeah. 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 College. Um, no, trichology is, um, it's not done at City College, it's done elsewhere. Okay. Um, and it's an awful lot of work, but I think it takes about two years to actually qualify to be a trichologist. Um, and I've got dyslexia as well, so I sometimes I don't understand what the words are saying. <laughs> But if I can do it, if I can actually uh, pass my tapwa and uh, my petals qualifications, anyone can do it. Because I've got dyslexia. Um, yeah, it's okay. You can still teach. I'm a practical learner rather than a theory learner. Yes. I thought at one time I would stay in education. 
Well, in, in arts and crafts, you know. Yeah. I don't know what, I still like making my, I make my jewellery. Um, I've got into resin making, so I make some jewellery out of that. Um, and I make it normally for presents. That's interesting. Like any product on your hair at all? Like wax, gel, spray. What do you like? Put a little bit on. Let's push the boat out a little bit. Okay. Yeah? All right. So I'm going to be using Underdog. So, so it's a little bit of paste. It smells absolutely divine. Mm. And you only need a tiny, tiny amount. So that's all you would need. Okay. Uh, that much, which works out to be that. Well, I feel like a new man. That's it. Not sure my wife would agree with that, but. <laughs> she love you no matter what. <laughs> How does that feel? Does that feel okay? It does feel great, absolutely great. Good. So with the product in? Yeah, it's all right. Does that feel okay, yeah? Yes, it does, yeah. So, let's say bye.